Readers, I know it's kind of weird me reacting to something that doesn't necessarily relate to anything I usually talk about on this channel. But given the fact that this is something that I care deeply about, just keep in mind that it was going to find its way on here eventually. And if you have a problem with that, feel free to leave a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a negative comment about how all black people do is just whine about everything. Feel free to unsubscribe. Just be prepared for the consequences of your actions. And just be prepared to realize that when it comes to certain things, we as African Americans will probably sooner than later go to you and say, enough is enough. Readers, today's lesson is one that everybody doesn't want to hear, but one that everybody needs to learn. One that I slightly touched on on my last Readers Reacts, and has since escalated into something that I couldn't be more proud of as an artist, a performer, and an African American. And it all kicked off with Super Bowl 50. Shut up, that pun was intentional. When Beyonce Knowles stepped out onto the football field on halftime in her Michael Jackson swagger, one day after releasing a new music video that focused on her heritage and the Black Lives Matter movement, while accompanied by backup dancers dressed to pay homage to the Black Panther Party, people, specifically white people, were incredibly uncomfortable and didn't know how to feel. A good amount of them lashed out soon after. They decided that Beyonce's song and her performance did more harm to the racial divide than good by only catering to one demographic. Then along came Saturday Night Live, who channeled this uproar in a pre-recorded skit called The Day Beyonce Turned Black. It outlined the ridiculousness of this cry by the lash out, exposed the mentality of the individuals who reacted this way, and told them to take back the several seats that they recently stood up from. But they tried again, this time attacking Beyonce's backup dancers. They said that the Black Panther Party, which dissolved in the early 1980s, was just as bad as the Ku Klux Klan, an organization that is still active today. Now PBS has aired a documentary in order to inform these misguided individuals called The Black Panthers, Vanguard of the Revolution. And with Sunday's airing of the Grammy Awards, history repeats itself with hip hop artist Kendrick Lamar, also in Michael Jackson's swagger, who performed back to back singles from his newest album that showed the modern day oppression of African Americans via incarceration and the pride we must reclaim from our African heritage. It left us as a people, me included, empowered and inspired, while it left others quiet and uncomfortable. All because writers, actors, artists, and teachers decided to use their talents and platforms to bring awareness to the masses, which is the subject for today's lesson. Readers, with the exception of my last name, there are three things I will always be proud of. Being black, being a nerd, and being LGBT. In all the talents and the arts that I've developed over the years, acting, singing, performing, fiction writing, I made the conscious effort to use whatever platform I operate on in order to spread awareness of things that I take great pride in. A lot of artists couldn't say the same thing a couple of decades ago, under the fear that if they did something too politically charged, that their label may drop them, or that they wouldn't have enough support for their artistic choices. But artists like Janelle Monet, Beyonce, Lupe Fiasco, and Kendrick Lamar are actively taking those risks and receiving that support by fans, organizations like PBS and SNL, who are in turn taking risks as well. So maybe, just maybe, we should start taking risks ourselves. As a matter of fact, readers, that's your homework assignment for today and every day you have left in your life. Use your talents, your strengths, in order to bring awareness to something you're proud of to the masses, no matter how big or small it is. Because you'll never know how big your tree will get unless you plant the seed. This is Readers 101, and happy Black History Month.
Class dismissed.